According to a news report by Robert Tulas, a reporter with the National News website, which was published on 26 February, Tigris and Euphrates river levels are dropping in Iraq. As you see the picture, the Hadarat bridge across the Euphrates river, which has seen a sharp decrease in water levels in Nasiriyah. Iraq has long accused Turkey of holding back water in a network of giant dams built between the 1970s and the present day. Since then, flows from both rivers have declined by about 30%, cutting off a significant percentage of Iraq's fresh water, although climate change has also been blamed for declines. No doubt, with climate change, the world has lost its balance and normalcy. We see untimely seasons and decline of natural resources. On the whole, what is clear that the whole world is crippled with the climate crisis. Although nations are working with specific initiatives and policies toward the climate emergency, but it seems that there's more to be done. With this news of Euphrates river levels declining, what is so surprising and truthful is that the religion of Islam has mentioned the receding of Euphrates river 1400 years before. Here's the hadith from Sayy al-Bukhari and Muslim. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported. The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, The hour will not occur until the Euphrates recedes, uncovering a mountain of gold over which people will fight. Ninety-nine out of every hundred will be killed. Every man among them will say, I might be the one who survives. Another narration states, Soon the Euphrates will recede, uncovering a treasure of gold. Whoever is present at this event should not take anything from it. The explanation of this hadith is that, A noble prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, informs us that close to the establishment of the hour, that is the day of resurrection, the river Euphrates will uncover a treasure of gold, by a mountain of gold, meaning the gold will come out as a mountain, and people will fight over it, because it is one of the trials. Then he forbids those who witnesses that incident, incidents from taking out of it, because no one will be saved from it. Perhaps some of those who witness that even interpret this hadith in a way that alter its true meaning in order to justify for himself taking from it. We seek refuge with Allah from trials.